Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Cynthia. Okay, I'm too I'm way too hyper right now. Um, but yeah, you already know the drill. I'm pretty sure you see this on everyone's videos. Hit that like button, press the subscribe button, come follow me on my other social medias. You already know, but I just have to say that because if I don't, I feel like you guys won't do it. But I need you guys to know that you guys should really do it because I'm really awesome and I'm really hyper right now, and I'm usually not like this on camera. <laughs> I'm usually like so calm, cool, and relaxed. But like, I'm pumped up today, guys, because today I am doing mixing all my foundations together challenge. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Super excited because I got a lot of foundations. I think we counted 16 found 16. What is this? That's six. But yeah. 16 foundations in total I will be mixing together for you for you and we are gonna see what this whole thing is because my YouTube subscriptions has been blowing up and yours will be too if you have that notification bell turned on oh see what I did there that was sick that was sick that was sick um but yeah um do all that cool stuff because I'm sure you want to be notified when I do other cool stuff I mean I'm a pretty cool gal Anyways, let's get into the video. So, I just took off this little, like, Tavana tea lid. Um, I'll just clean it after because I wanted something that we can mix foundations with, but still, like, see and watch it all formulate. Um, I think we're going to just get mixing them first, and then we'll go into the primer and application and everything. Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Just oh my god, <laughs> I have wings for dinner. Okay. got my little mixture in there pretty much looks just like my foundation shade I mean on camera I look really white probably because my new lighting but I think it will work okay so now we are going to prime the canvas so I have like three primers here that I use which is really unnecessary but I'm gonna do it anyways this is a primer water which I freaking love and I don't know why I haven't bought the full size of this because I should just the full size of this but yeah i love it oh you guys haven't seen this on the channel you guys know i wear like cute headwear and stuff because i'm just cool like that this one's the cute new one cute new one that i got from where did I, oh, oh oh my gingerbread <laughs> anyways i'm gonna prime my face using the smashbox primer water love this stuff i love it i just feel like it gets my face ready for what we are going to conquer today, okay? Even though it is midnight. So, Too Faced Hangover Primer. I don't know why I'm acting like this. Okay, I need to stop. I'm just gonna be serious. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is just like a really good hydrating one. I got it in a sample because I didn't know for sure if I wanted to get it, but you know, I got it. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't know for sure if I wanted to buy the full size. But I bought it. And it feels so hydrating and it leaves your skin that nice tacky feeling that you just want in a primer. I love it. Especially if you have dry skin. This is like a god, okay? And then I go on with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This has been on my channel since day one, I feel like. I had the little sample and I just... I actually hated it at first and then I just fell in love. And I'm just gonna put it in like my pore area. So anyways... Here's the foundation, and I'm just going to clean this off on my face. Oh my god, what was on that? Oh my god. Don't do that. And now I'm just going to go in with my dampen Real Technique sponge. So, so nice. And I'm going to literally just freaking dip it right in here. A little bit too much. We're going to just dab that oh actually pretty decent match not too shabby that's like the first thing I do so like I'm prepared for okay like full coverage holy shit <laughs> I'm not even gonna try not to say it because this is just crazy oh my god like hello coverage i look like a freaking ghost but holy okay let me grab a mirror and take a closer look oh my god my pores my skin every one of my pimples like i looked disgusting in the beginning of this video but that's kind of it on the skin. Don't mind like like an eyelid. Something so stupid. But it's not like settling in there at all. My forehead. It just looks so pretty. But yeah. I think it looks so, so pretty. Like, I don't know. I just think it looks beautiful. So I will be back looking way better than I am now. Minus my face because my face already looks so good. But yeah, I will be back with my full face done. Hey everybody, so I'm back. I just finished up my makeup. So um, everything blended so nicely on top of this foundation. I don't know, I feel like my base just looks so perfect, especially on camera. Like, I definitely want to film with this foundation now. I want to like take pictures with this foundation. That has no flashback. My face looks the same. Um, I'm just going to tell you things that I went and put on over top. So, of course, you know, I use my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal and highlight the areas of my face. Um, and then I just set that down with my Highlight and Contour Palette from IBY Beauty with this shade. You already know the one that's messed up in the middle. Love this shade to set my under eyes and everything. Just beautiful. Um, and then I set the rest of my face with my favorite Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This thing's going to last me forever. I've had this for like two or three months and it's still like so high. This is amazing, amazing setting powder. Um, and then I bronzed up my face with this. The, it's like worn off, but it's the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Um, but I just got it in a darker shade and used it as a bronzer. I think it's just such a pretty pretty color um for my skin i don't know i just love it um and then i went in with the elf blush this one's so so pretty this is in the shade mellow mauve so pretty you can see on my face it's just such a pretty blush shade i don't know there's something about this shade it has a little bit of shimmer in there but as you can see on the face it's not too too much it just looks so nice and then, of course, you already know, um, I highlighted with my two, I mix, I've been mixing these together lately, and I love them. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and, and this is the shade in Precious Petals. So, so nice. It's so perfect for, like, lighter skin tones. It has that peachy, like, undertone to it or something. And then I top it off in like really areas where I want like a really intense highlight with this e.l.f. highlighter. Um, and the tip to this one is like really scratching off um, 
the top like not with your nail but just scraping off the top and it works so good and then i filled in my brows with the brow gal um palette and this one is convertible brow number two and i just used this shade right here and i just lightly filled them in i didn't want anything too crazy today i don't know i just wanted something that's there and i look pretty not like dramatic glam um and then um i used this um palette to contour i love this, this is a contour palette from elf love this shade if you are light skin tone this is like the perfect contour shade it's that like perfect ashy brown shade so i'd recommend that um the bronzer shade in here is nice as well i don't like the highlighter but like these three are really good um and then i went in to do my eye makeup i just did something really simple wait this palette can do so much more than that and i love it but it's the laura lee palette love this guy um it's gotten some use from me i love it i think i've played with every single shade in this palette love it it's just done so many pretty eye looks for me and i just take this like this has been my traveling palette i love it so so much and then I went in with my favorite mascara right now. Um, like, it's literally the bomb. I saw it, like, trending on Facebook. It was all over the place, and I had to get my hands on it. And it's the Unique Mood Struck Epic Mascara. Literally, you only need to, like, dip in once, and it just... My lashes look so nice. I've tried so many mascaras, and I usually mix, like, three mascaras to do what the power of this mascara does. I love it. This thing's going to last me forever. Um, and then I went in with my favorite matte lippies. I don't know. I just love these lippies so, so much. They don't move. Um, and I went in with the Flirt Lippy in Look... Oh, sorry. It's the Look at My Lips collection from Flirt. But this one's Rosebud. And I think it's the prettiest red lip shade. I don't know. Anyways, for the foundation, guys, this looks so bomb. Um... I really want you guys to try this. I don't know. Like, I'm just blown away with how smooth and nice my skin looks. I look so, like, healthy. But it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot. And it doesn't feel like I have a lot on. And it's set down, like, when I set it with a powder. Everything just worked so nicely on it. I don't know, guys. I think it looks so good. And that completes this video. Um, I wish I could stay and talk more. I'm, like, really hyped up. Um, but, yeah, I really would recommend trying it out if you haven't. Um, this is beautiful. So, try it out. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Um, I mean, we don't have the same foundation, so it's a little bit, you, you know, like, it could suck or it could work. But, like, for me, it worked. And I just think you should try it because it would be really fun. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. But I had a good time talking to you guys, and I miss filming, and I'm sorry I haven't been on here that much. But be sure to follow me on my social media accounts, like Instagram, for example. I'm on that thing, like, 24-7, and if you ever want to talk to me, you know, just shoot me a message. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.